Hey you guys, welcome back, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing some Valentine's nail art. And if you would like to do your nails with me or just nail design get some inspo, just keep on watching. So first off, I'm grabbing my straight edge clipper and cutting down the nail length of my client. Basically these nail beddings that come with this practice hand. And on your client, you would like to, you know, ask how short they would uh, like their natural nails to be cut down or cut down if at all. And you're going to want to go ahead and just use your file, your hand file to shape and buff it out. And you want to make sure that you are buffing the top of each nail bedding to completely take off any oils. Because if there's anything on, you will have lifting and all your hard work will be for nothing because it will start lifting before your client even leaves. So prep is very important. So here I am actually opening up a Rice Krispie treat with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and eat this really quick before we begin. You guys can have a little taste of this too, you know. You guys got a little taste and uh, yeah. So if you have not ate a Rice Krispie treat um, recently, I suggest you go get some. I don't know how long it's been since I got me a Rice Krispie treat. But uh, I did and I, I can't wait to get another one after watching this again. So... <laughs> Uh, what I'm doing is using my e-file and going in at 2, uh, and I am left-handed, so I am using reverse instead of forward, um, and I got the sanding band on my e-file to go ahead and buff it out really quick, just as you would for your client. You can, you can just use your uh, hand file, but I'm um, going ahead and getting my M-share and, you know, basically using my builder gel to connect the nail tips onto my nails and I did have to do that to all the nails also so after you have cured them in the lamp usually like 30 seconds or even less 15 seconds um, to just cure it because you're gonna still be building the structure and strength of the nail so you can't just depend on this first layer as you know your strength and be durable throughout your whole you know two weeks till your next appointment so I got carried away and I did these two off camera um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do these other two on camera with you guys so what I'm using is this pink poly gel number eight and it is elite 99 it is a luminous poly gel also so this is going to definitely be glowing in the dark and when you go outside and get a little bit of sunshine you will get some glowing once you come back in the house or in the office building wherever you are you know so this is a really nice baby pink and i will leave it down below because it is super pretty <laughs> So we're just going to go ahead and build that up and I'm going to use my, uh, what is this called, exacto knife and cut a straight line across the poly gel and place it on top of the rest of the poly gel on that side because I'm all about saving a coin and you should be too. So what we're doing is just blending it and building it back in there. I'm not sure if you guys peeped the timeline. But this is a pretty fast tutorial for your nails because you're probably doing last minute nails too because I know I am. So we're just going to go ahead and apply some of these decals that are like kind of hollow twinkles. And I'm encapsulating it with my M-Share Builder Gel. So it'll kind of be like a nice glass see-through type of cut. So we're going to go ahead and tip it to the side and on the back side of your hand for a little bit, uh, for just basically a couple seconds and it will self level. It is much easier to do it that way. So that's just like a little trick. If you are using self leveling gel, um, I definitely do recommend that you do get into it if you have not yet because it goes hand in hand with poly gel. So I am using this nude pink poly gel. It is also luminous which is amazing because I I don't think I've seen like nudes that are luminous kinda hard to see and find but uh, yeah so I'm just working that in into the nail bedding area and then I'll be using a powder this one here it looks pink but when you use it with M share builder gel without curing it at all just going right in it turns into this like kinda hot red kind of color onto the nail tip but if you were to cure it in the lamp and then dip it will come out like this um, 
but it does it does change color it, it kind of looks a little different on camera but in person it does turn into like a nice hot red And I will be honest with you guys, going this route using this powder is very messy as you guys can see. So would I really like to do this method? No, not really, but it does give a nice clean color and effect on the nail. So it's just messy, you know. I don't I don't like messy messy. So that is my Christmas wheel. Um, so I thought I'd let you guys know these hearts are from there and I had that stored away but you know trying to get my creative you know zone in and you know getting some ideas I went and got some things that were stored away to try and like come up with something and so I also got this out of there too and these are some iridescent uh, shapes and I, I placed some shapes on this nail also and some golden glitter to top it off but you guys will see that I did add a little too much of this gold glitter that's sitting right there um, over the hearts so it kind of like fogged out the hearts and you couldn't really see it so what I did was when this happens okay so this might happen to you when this happens you can grab a brush and dip into some alcohol and wipe it off on a tissue um, or a napkin whatever you have available to you wipe it off and then go back in in the alcohol and then wipe it off until you are happy so that's basically what i did i think i lost my train of focus when i was building up the nail bedding area with the structure gel because we did go in with poly gel but i think i forgot but you know that happens sometimes especially to me so you guys will see this is a new structure gel that i've never shared with you guys because I was filming and I accidentally erased the footage so let's talk about Valentine's you know I'm not so fond of Valentine's anymore it's just like meh you know and I think that's like a couple years back that I've been feeling that way I don't know is that just me or, is it, or am I you know like a sour skid or something but I like Valentine's Day you know it's not it's not something like, you know, I, I put all my energy into anymore. It's just like, oh, you know, it's, it's nice to walk into the stores and see all these hearts, all these gifts people can give each other. But I'm I'm just okay. I'm okay not getting anything and not wanting anything, really. That's what it is. It's just, I just like walking into stores and just seeing all the awesome holiday season products that people can get one another and then basically what I think about Valentine's Day is like my mom you know I think that's just that's 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 me on Valentine's Day it's like hmm what can I get my mom you know so I don't know you guys let me know what are you guys gonna do for Valentine's today and what do you guys think about this Valentine's nail look or what did you get for your Valentine's nails Anyway, I ended up using the cuticle pusher that I have not used on anyone. I just use it for glitter um, or powder to throw on top of the nail. Don't mind my daughter. She's she's singing a Jesus song in the background. Uh, she's starting to talk now, actually. And she's only like a little over 18 months. But I ended up using that cuticle uh, tool to place the nail foil over the nail and get it transferred. So I tried to transfer it the best I could, but I am running out of my foil glue, so I have to restock on that. So that's what I'm doing. I ended up just adding a little bit of this nail foil love to each nail. This is how it looked, and I ended up topping it off with the top coat again, and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and I used some stickers, so you guys will see it here. I do have a idea coming up for a new nail design and it is using my uh, new Sailor Moon nail stickers so I will have some Sailor Moon nails coming very soon 
So make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you like this video and have your notifications on um, so that you don't miss out on that next video that's coming up very soon. So yeah, it's already pre-recorded, so it's it's definitely coming out right after this. I hope you guys enjoyed these Valentine's Day nails. Let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite one. Don't come for my smile line on my index finger. I know it's kind of crooked, but whatever. Uh, the pinky's on point, so yeah. So that's pretty much it. I'll see y'all in the next one.